I will Llama Club it. says, <laughs> why was my first thought? Why is this Wait, dude? Wait, no, no, start that over. All right. Llama Club. Wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Llama, Llama Club says. <laughs> No, come back. Come back. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Community Comments for the month of October. I'm Ricky. This is John. That's Rachel. This is a strawberry. And this is Ian. Look at you, strawberry man. <laughs> First comment on the video, D&D &D Pacifist, from Minion of Havoc. They said, I was expecting Paladin Oath of Redemption. This is pretty original, and I'm impressed. It's like, please don't hurt me and my friends. And then as soon as somebody hurts you or one of your friends, you're like, I told you not to. That's Pulls out baseball bat, right. begins to bash this is a, with this holy is impunity. <laughs> holy yeah. impunity. Not pacifism. Right. No, it, it is. I, that sounds like the, the Oath of Vengeance by lunch. That sounds very Oath of Vengeance. -y. It's not though. It's like Oath of Redemption really? or something. Okay, well, because yeah. Oath of Vengeance. Is, I know people keep commenting about using Oath of Vengeance, and I don't actually know what that one does. Also, from that same video, we have Gabriel Russell. Mm -hmm. He says, "Unless your entire party is on board with not killing people, then you're being that guy. If you hold person someone and someone else kills them, you are just as responsible for killing them." Yes. This is why we put a disclaimer to make sure you consult with your players and your DM before playing a pacifist character. Because once again, like if somebody, if it's just like a bunch of new people to D&D and you're like, I'm gonna play a pacifist character, you're not gonna have a good time because the new players are gonna want to kill things because that's will, what they do. Did you attempt to hold the person with the intention that you, that would be it? Like I'm holding right. them and then your party goes, well, nope, and kills them before you get a chance to like do anything. You're still a pacifist. And you may be a bit irked, but you're still a pacifist. Right. And I think it's definitely possible to be a pacifist in a party of non-pacifists if you're a sort of like uh, a kind of like a, a little bit of a laissez-faire pacifist. Like, like you're like okay with your friends doing well, violence as think long about as this. you don't do violence. My friends are going to kill people no matter what. Like if you have some there, widget. Like if I'm there, they're going to kill a lot fewer people. I'm adding pacifism to a, a deadly t like tincture. From slashers in need. From Gra uh, Grace Huntsman says, people in the comments discussing slashers, background pumpkin man, and John's blue hair. Me. Oh my god, it's, Ethan, it's Ethan's voice. He's still alive. Instead of like us recording this, we should just send it to Ethan. And then we sent the script to Ethan, and it, it, he's like, hey, I, uh, I did it. And he sent it back, and it was perfect. It was like absolutely perfect. It was amazing. The, thing it was the, the best part about cutting out all the, all the like clips and stuff uh -huh. was that... Uh, Everything from Ethan was a good clip. <laughs> like right, there was yeah. no yeah, there bad, bad clip. Takes. Mm -hmm. There was no bad takes. He looked so great in Guest Quest. That's the one thing that I miss about Guest Quest mm -hmm. is that like Ethan in that setting with all the lighting and his hair all done did. Uh, he looked so great. Obviously, where's your Guest Quest by the way? Huh? You did a Guest Quest, didn't you? It's gone. What do you mean? It's gone. gone. Lost. Boom. What happened? From Princeps, Yeet Yate Yoten. I didn't expect Door Monster to post such a controversial video. I kind of went against my philosophy. Here. I thought it was Yeet Yeet Yote. I think so. And then probably you wrote Yoten. So it's 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 a uh, break broke broken right. There's a, every every English verb has three principal parts. Like we all we all know this. Swim swam, swam swam. Uh, run ran ran. Uh, yeet Yate Yote maybe, but Yeet Yate Yote. But break broke broken. Yeet Yate no, Yote. Yeah, but goose broken is goose moose goose. Bro broken is not a verb. You don't broken something. I have broken it. Broken is the perfect passive participle of the word break. If I were to yeet oh my, my cell phone across the room, my cell phone would have been Yotin, okay? Yeah. That so is how it is used. Are you, there's, there's, it's there's a perfect passive eating. participle. It's time to ship it over to Kyle and Allison. Whoa. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're also here. We haven't done this in a long time. It's been at least a year, right? <laughs> Ricky and John and Ian and Rachel have all been doing community comments, but we've been dead. We also have Matt. Hey! He's Matt. right next to I'm us. I'm socially distanced. Matt totally as a natural. hobby likes to lick toilet seats, so. Yes. I've been we going to clubs him. every weekend. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Are you though? We made a Crusader Kings video like a couple, a month ago, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna read your comments from that. Zex Merkis 73 says, Big Bo Burnham energy. I appreciate that. I yeah, I thought that. that was really nice. That's, one of, that's probably one of the best compliments I got on that, actually. <laughs> I really do not think that your lyrical genius holds anywhere close to his, no. but it's nice to get compared <laughs> earlier. Yeah, I know. definitely referenced some of his songs beforehand because it Did felt you? very similar. Yeah. 
Also, this was your first song. It was, period. Actually. Ever. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. But how much of it is the hair and the, like, complexion? I feel like we all collectively have the same crush on Bo Burnham, right? No. 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 What's wrong with you? doesn't do it for me. <laughs> that can't More be of a Tom Hardy kind of guy. <laughs> totally different genre of, of men. Want kids. Baby right. Sully says, why does it look like his facial animations are set to 200? I was told to by you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's important. Uh, if he wasn't, you wouldn't think he was singing. You have to convey the vibe of being on the stage. What? Right. What? <laughs> stuff like that. That's a, that's a, that's a good that's a classic theater stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I've never actually, I don't know if we'll get to this comment, but somebody talked and said something like, I should have known you were a theater kid. And I, I was so not, actually, in yeah. school. I was not at this all a theater kid. This has severe theater kid energy, though. It like, does, for sure. If this does get repeated, you can cut it out, John, <laughs> if we if we get to a question that addresses this. John, give me a kitty cat face. <laughs> Thank you. And then just insert that clip out of context somewhere else in the video. I forgot that John was editing these. He's so good at it. Yeah. It everybody everybody compliment. He's been editing jo uh, the, the community comments for the Claps last for few John. episodes. Claps for John. Robbie Garber says, the almost almost mustache really pulls the whole thing together. <laughs> that was my favorite comment. There's a lot about that mustache. For like how little and tiny it is, it's a very powerful mustache. For the record, me. even if I tried, I could not grow that much facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was not a real mustache. Allison painted it on my so face. So why did you pick a weak mustache? As like the why why that why not five o'clock shadow? I that's kind of what I was going for, but Allison said that if you tried to paint it on more, it would look like a painted on beard. Okay. Yeah. She said it would get less realistic the more she tried to add on. He so. has like a little bit of hair, so you can kind of work with it. To but it's it never like, actually visible. Like like that was right. more visible than my facial hair will ever be. Naturally. It was a good look. I don't know. <laughs> you can have. Yeah, it looks you, good. It aged you like ten years. Llama Club says. Why was my first thought, why is this dude on the Hamilton stage? They just let him? I don't know if I actually tricked anybody all the way through. Because at the very end, I do show myself standing in front of the blue screen. So I think most people put it together from that, no, like from the, from the end thing. But yeah, it, no. It looks great. It was a fake stage. We did a lot of brand new stuff in this one video. Uh, and half of it was uh, generating an entirely fake environment in CGI. And I have a brand new computer now that was able to render all this stuff super fast. I was able to get like moving camera pans and all these, these cool things. And it was just kind of a big test to see if we can pull off entirely CGI environments. One from Mojkin that says, this is probably the best one so far and it's after they quit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's really rough. We get comments every single one that was like, I thought you weren't doing sketches anymore. Things change. She's gonna make an update video soon addressing some stuff, but like, you know, clearly things didn't go according to plan. Barbaticus. What the hell? I mean, it's good, just seriously out of left field. <laughs> That's yeah. the best kind of comment. I like that one. I was, kind of, I was a little bit wondering, like, I wonder if people are gonna like this just because it's like so completely different than anything we've ever done before. So many people like find one thing they're good at and then they just milk that cow until it's just a True. skinny husk of nothing. So like for you to go out and just be like, I'm do a musical, a CG set. <laughs> like it's, it's, I, I appreciate it. We're just laying in bed. We just woke up, it's 8 a.m. And you just like roll over and you're like, I think I have an idea for Crusader Kings 3. And I'm like, oh cool, what? And he's like, a musical. <laughs> and I'm like, that's awesome. We've never written, performed, or done anything close to to making a song. He's yeah. like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Bye. 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 Oh, we're back. That was fun. From uh, uh, Mon Poconut, there's always been something funny to me about the occult classes. We've got five different flavors of 19th century fake magic, but as real magic, and also the kineticist. Huge disconnect between them, especially because the kineticist is the only interesting one. They couldn't get the rights to psionics, right? Or they didn't want the rights to psionics. Nobody wants the rights to psionics. Yeah, but, but so they want to do something different, but they still want to do mental magic, right? Which is just like people who wear lace uh, lace collars and carry pocket watches and live in 1800s. That's the occult. Everybody there was the occult. Oh no. You know what oh. I think of? The first thing I think of occult? Hmm. I think of people chucking giant boulders with their right. mind. From playing anime characters in D&D, &D, guard Helgeland Rosovic. To be honest, I would watch an anime about five edgelords trying to be the coolest. It's most anime, isn't it? Is it Hunter Hunter? Hunter Hunter, yeah, there's two competing oh, edgelords. Two competing edgelords. Who's the other one? 
Specialized Kurapika. Uh, Kurapika and Killua. Oh, I never got and, to. I never, like, so where I was in the Hunter Hunter, Kurapika was not edgy. Kurapika yeah. kind of tried to be edgy a little bit, but and like the, Killua was so winning. It, yes. He was. Kurapika was definitely the edgelord character until they introduced the even edgier. I was raised by assassins, feel no pain, and cra- can grab human hearts out of chests. Ed, the edgelord. And then our actual edgelord was like, oh man. I don't know, that guy's a little edgy. But yeah, our <laughs> actual edgelord Ed Lord was like, that guy's psycho. What's I'm getting out of here, so, like, I need a new friend. In, <laughs> a, in another context, uh, Soul Eater actually has edgelords, which is to say, children attempting to be edgy like like adults, and everybody rolls their eyes at them. Uh, hey, also, Soul Eater has edgy kids, as in the fact that they are actually swords. Comment down below what you think the edgiest anime is and why. Great contest, actually. I want to see the answer. Yeah, I, I do. Oh, it's, it's, it's definitely Berserk, right? Oh no no no! Don't com- I don't want to see. It's definitely Berserk. No, 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 don't don't no, don't 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 You're, you're them. rigging the election. All right, guys, this has been community <laughs> comments with us, the comments, and you, the com- wait. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>